Hey, what is up guys? My name is Echerno and welcome to episode 21 of Game Programming. Okay, so yesterday we took a look at actually creating the sprite class, which was really cool and um, is the basis for all future sprites for our game. Um, now, today, um, we're actually going to take it a bit slower because yesterday I really felt that I sort of jammed in all of this. Um, when I originally started the series, I intended to do like a couple lines of code each video. I did like freaking 27 yesterday. So yeah, I'm going to be taking a bit, a bit slower, a bit more in depth so that you guys can really, you know, understand. Um, and because, you know, that is really the purpose of this series. So, okay. So we've got this sprite class. Now, how do we actually create sprites with it? Now, the way we're gonna do it is basically legitimately create a sprite. So let's open up paint.net. This is our sprite sheet, sprite sheet.png that we created last episode. Oh, sorry, two episodes ago, so episode 19. We actually created this sprite sheet.png file and with a grid, all right? So if we go into a grid here, we're just gonna create a sprite, like right over here. Um, because, and this is just gonna be temporary. So what we'll do is we will, lit, I'll just, like you guys can create whatever artwork you want. I'm not going to spend too much time on artwork. That isn't the uh, purpose of the series, but I'm just going to create some nice grass here. Um, maybe a bit like that. Um, and actually that should be probably lighter. Just some nice, um, some nice grass. Oops. All right, so that's legitimately my grass for now. Just go with it. So we've created a grass texture right now, and let's just save it. How do we actually use this grass texture in Java, in, in our game? Um, and the way we do that is pretty simple. We actually need to create a sprite out of it. Now, you might be like, hang on, you're creating a sprite in the sprite class? How does that work? Well, it's very simple, because the thing is, sprites for us are gonna be static because they will not change, will they? No, they won't. Once you define a sprite, it will stay the same. So let's just go public, um, public static sprite. So we're creating a new sprite object right here in the sprite class, and we'll call it grass. And we'll actually set it equal to new sprite. So we're creating a new sprite. And then we've got to fill out all of these things. So first of all, how big is it? It's 16. Right, that's the size, it's 16 by 16 pixels. X and Y are zero and zero because it's in the top left corner of this grid. And the sprite sheet is actually, we kind of need to create that one. So for now, we'll probably just type in, can't really type in sheet. Um, for the sprite sheet, we might just leave that, because uh, we actually need to create the sprite sheet first. So for now, we're gonna leave it as null, all right? Obviously that's not a good idea, but um, for now we'll leave it as null because we haven't actually created the sprite sheet yet. But this line of code, guys, is what you really need to actually learn. And the reason is, um, this is what will actually create our sprite, okay? If we were to reference it from a different class, we would simply type sprite.grass, and that's it. That would give us this texture. Now, how does this work? First of all, again, it creates a new static version of the sprite, a new static instance of the sprite class. Now, remember, every instance of the sprite class has unique variables, all of these, because none of them are static. It has a unique size, it's got a unique coordinate, it's got a unique pixel array, which means that when we access sprite.grass's pixels, right? Because again, we're creating a new sprite object so it contains everything that's in this class, um, except for this because it's static. Um, when, we, when we create that, we actually go through all this process, we load the appropriate texture, the appropriate uh, texture or, or sprite into the pixel array so that when we then access sprite.grass.pixels, it refers to the appropriate pixels because this is the grass object and we've told, we've told it to load at this coordinate, all right? So go through this, make sure you know this code because that is how we will create sprites from now on. That is how we will use sprites from now on as well. And, um, and yeah, so once again, the size, we've specified the size, we've specified the coordinate of it. If this was say, whoops, 
If this was, for example, oops, damn. If this was, for example, over here, right? Instead of up there, we would have to go zero, one. And I hope you understand that because that's like zero, that's the X value and, and Y is one. So Y is one down. So that is, that is how that works, all right? So that's how you create a new sprite. And um, tomorrow we'll actually take a look at, create, at actually creating the sprite tree because at the moment null isn't acceptable. Um, I just completely forgot that we hadn't created a sprite sheet yet. So we will have to create a sprite sheet and we'll do that uh, in tomorrow's episode. So I hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. If you did, please hit the like button. Let me know what you, th what you thought in the comments and I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new episode of Game Programming. Until then, guys, goodbye.